A look at your extreme weather outlook here on this Wednesday. While we're keeping an eye on the tropics in the eastern Pacific, especially now up to a 70% chance of tropical formation within the next couple of days. Spotty severe weather concerns will continue at least into the end of the week and uh, warm into mid-May as well. So this is a look at the satellite view of this particular wave that the National Hurricane Center is tracking. A little bit more organization with this one now and 70% uh, chance again of tropical formation within the next two days. And this is basically just due west of Central America. Now as we take a look at the earliest uh, northeastern Pacific named storm on record, well, that goes to Adrian, and it was uh, actually formed on May 10th of last year, 2017. And by the way, your Eastern Pacific hurricane season starts on May 15th and lasts through November 30th. A very bright day in Phoenix, Arizona. Again, we are likely to see more triple-digit heat uh, following yesterday's very hot weather from Vegas down to Tucson. Uh, Reno, Nevada had a record high of 91 degrees, and here's a look at our high temperatures again, even into tomorrow. Expected to be very warm, but as we take a look at the excessive heat warnings here from Southern California to far western Arizona. Again, this is where temperatures could be approaching 105 to maybe 110 from today all the way through Friday. Very warm in thermal California. And then we do cool off just a little bit back down into the 90s uh, for the end of the week and upcoming weekend. All right, so there are severe weather reports from yesterday. This same wave of energy is going to be kicking out some severe weather from southern uh, portions of lower Michigan to, well, the Ohio Valley and that surrounding area is under a marginal threat of severe weather. And that shifts into the eastern Great Lakes, mid-Atlantic states for Thursday. Slight risk over Nebraska, though, on Thursday. And then it does shift a little bit farther south southeast on into our Friday. So there's one wave of energy kicking out some showers and storms across the Midwest. And here comes that next one. Could see some locally heavy rain in the Midwest through the end of the week.